Hey everyone, this is Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz, and I am here today to unbox this guy right here, the bad boy Scurvo, who is a GameStop, a GameStop exclusive uh, statue. Uh, it is, let me look at the bottom here. Um, it's licensed, officially licensed by Nintendo. Uh, this is from the Dark Horse Deluxe series. Uh, and this particular statue is actually made by First Four Figures. And that's notable because First Four Figures is responsible for a lot of the really, really high quality uh, statues out there that you find for hun several hundred dollars. Now, I believe this one runs uh, for about $129.99 on the GameStop website. It is exclusive to GameStop. Um, I got this as a wonderful Christmas present from my parents who love me very, very much. As you can see, the front of the box has Scurble here from Skyward Sword. And then his picture kind of continues under the side with the first four figures logo. On the back, you can clearly see that it's 14 plus, so this isn't really meant for children. This is definitely more of a an adult product. Um, it says warning that suitable for children under 36 months. Blah 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 blah. Obviously, this is just 14 plus on that. And you see the picture continues there. And on the top, you clearly see that it says Skyward Sword. Now, this is my second Dark Horse figure. Uh, my first is actually right here. This bad boy. You've probably seen him in several of the videos. This is the Twilight Princess Link. This one runs about $80. Uh, there's some places where you can actually find this because they sell it at more than just GameStop. So I know there are some places where you can find it for about 50 bucks, um, but he's my one of my favorite Link statues out there. There is a brand new Skyward Sword Link statue. statue. Um, I personally don't really find it to be that attractive, but maybe I just need to get up close and personal with it and I might change my mind. Um, so I love this, this statue here. One of my favorites. So I'm going to set this one off to the side and just to kind of give you an example, um, this also comes from the Dark Horse series Link does and this is the box it came in. Um, and as you can see, it says on the bottom, Dark Horse Deluxe. But this one was not made by First Four Figures. Um, it's either made by Unibox Entries or Together Plus. I'm not sure. I don't know enough information about those, uh, those companies to really tell you. Um, and this one opens up so you can view on the inside. Now, uh, similar to that, Skurvo here also opens up and you can see him on the inside. As you can see, pretty big statue. Um, so let's, let's get him out of the box here. Um, now on the top it is sealed and of course I do not have a knife for this video. I don't keep them in my office. So we will just use a pen here and we'll break this seal. All right. I'm trying to keep the box in pretty good condition. I mean, it's a little beat up from shipping. It looks like anyways, but I like to save these boxes. I think they kind of look cool in the collector's, um, collector stand kind of way. So let's open this up here. Of course, it's packed in here pretty tight, no surprise. Oh, they got, they got more tape here on the sides. So let's break open this tape here, as you can see. Hopefully you can see. I apologize if my camera is not in the best positions. Um, I was trying to get set up better for this video, and unfortunately, um, I just don't have a better setup right now. My house is kind of cluttered with a bunch of stuff from Christmas. Needless to say, my three kids were extremely spoiled by Santa Claus and all of our various family members. Ugh. All right, let's back this one up here. I need a bit more space. All right. And for those wondering why I didn't just peel that stuff off, sometimes when you peel these stickers, it takes the face with it, and you don't really want to ruin the, any of the face of these boxes. As I said, I like to use these um, as part of like a little collector's thing. Just kind of having them sitting in the corner. I don't know. I think it looks kind of nice. It's not very often you save boxes for that purpose, but I like saving them. For that. So this folds up here, and then this bad boy is huge. It's by far the biggest Zelda figure I own. Of course, the biggest one I owned before was Link, and I don't own any of the other first four figures, uh, the more expensive ones, because um, they're a lot of money. Set this box aside. All right. So first thing first, we'll lift him up. Be a little careful. As you can see, he's pretty big. Got the, the the twin swords here. 
I'm not exactly sure how this goes together, so we are going to open it up and find out together. All right, so first pull, pull apart the sides here. Because he's so big, this is actually popping open pretty well. He's pretty well packed in there. All right. So. There is Skirbo. All right. So he's got, got the hook hand going on here, and I believe this is to hold the sword. So let's let's see how we can make this make all this work together now. Let's set, let's set him off to the side a little bit here. So we got um, a couple swords here. If I can get it out. Okay, there's one. All right. And it looks like there's a little stand probably to hold one of the swords up let's look on the base oh all right comes right off the base look on the base here i'm not seeing a place probably right here in that little crevice that's probably where the stand goes so let's let's set scurvo back on here so they, they come off these bases really easy so it's kind of nice to have the stand so he doesn't lean forward and fall um once we get these swords on him so set him aside again let's get this other sword out not to break anything here all right so that's it for the packaging we'll put this packaging back in the box um just in case i ever have to move or i need to pack him away it's good to have the original packaging all right so let's see how this works so it looks like um if you look on the bottom here it looks like it kind of just plugs into the bottom of his hand here so let's let's kind of see how that fits together um, i'm assuming it fits together more like this like that okay it just kind of sits in there doesn't look like there's really a lot holding it um, but it seems to be doing pretty well holding itself up so you can obviously just leave him like this you don't have to do anything else if you don't want to um, however I believe there's got to be a way to connect this one let's see here does it just hook on no 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 oh man so this is what happens when uh, when you don't exactly know how these things connect. Let's let's take a look at the box. Um, there wasn't any instructions included. So I can't tell you um, exactly how this is supposed to go. But let's take a look here on the box. Now I don't see anything on the box showing a way to set up two swords. Maybe this one sits on his hip. So let's, let's look here. So he's got his kneecap there. Ah uh, yes, this one sits on his hip. So this is so we could draw another sword. So let's let's get this in here. See, wait, does it go like this? No, it doesn't go like that. Okay, so just gotta get the right angle. All right, and this must be. Hmm. I have no idea what this would hold up because this is this sword is too far out to hold this up. So let me. Let me just glance around the box here. Um, maybe there's a way from the whole both swords that I'm not seeing. Uh, the back of the box doesn't say anything. Uh, the inside doesn't say anything. And the packaging doesn't. So I'm not exactly sure what the stand is going to be used for. I'm pretty sure that there was like a second sword you could hold up here. But I don't see any other way to attach or detach anything here. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll just take kind of a closer look <clears throat> at Skirbo himself here. Um, so you have, let's see my 3DS in the background. Okay, so you kind of have his sword, tip of his sword. You see, it's got a little, got a little red tinge to it. Um, showing a little blood or some battle action or maybe just some weathering effects because it seems to be on all on all of the edges it's a pretty big sword if you want to look at it from the side um, compared to his size it's probably almost as tall as him um, we'll go down here obviously got the Triforce base this comes with all of the Dark Horse Deluxe series statues you kind of rise up here you can see his exposed kneecap his other knee over here is also exposed a little bit um, we'll just kind of pan up here you can see the rest of Skirvo's body. Now, Skirvo is actually one of my all-time favorite enemies in a Zelda game. Um, and I know he, he exists as a boss fight, and he comes up again later as kind of like a mini-boss. I just really like him a lot. He is one of my favorite enemies, especially in Skyward Sword. And I really, really like Skyward Sword. 
Um, as you see, it's got some weather, some damage here, some battles damage. Um, let's turn them around here. See, the detailing on this is absolutely fantastic. Um, you can look at that, even the back of the knee there. You can see the back of the knee on this guy. And you kind of get the kind of get the under the under look there. Um, so the detailing on this is great. Now the figure itself, you know, these aren't. Um, these aren't the super high quality uh, 400 500 dollar first four figure figures this is just kind of a, a basic um, well more, more of a basic like I would call these mid-range um, you have things like the amiibo I'm gonna grab an amiibo quick um, so you have things like the like the amiibo here and you got the Ganondorf amiibo um, and I would consider the Ganondorf amiibo to be probably be some of the cheapest figures you can get in terms of build quality um, as an example, it is actually not that hard because like his cape bends here and you could actually snap him if you pushed hard enough um, without really a whole lot of effort. And then these, this guy runs, like I said, about $130. Um, and then there is the bigger Force 4 figures uh, ones that are handcrafted. Um, I don't own one, so I don't know if they're made out of I'm assuming they're made out of clay. This is not made out of clay. This is plastic. Um, a very hard plastic, but it is still a plastic, but it's got fantastic details. Um, and I would say these are mid-range. Like I said, this was 130 Link back here, he was about $80. So, um, yeah, overall, I am very happy with the Skirmo statue. I would not have been able to afford it on my own anytime soon. Him and Ganondorf from Twilight Princess are currently the two most expensive Dark Horse uh, Deluxe statues right now. Um, so I'm very happy to add this to my collection, and you will see it in the background of many, many videos to come, as I absolutely love Skirvo. Um, I wouldn't mind if someone decided to make a nickname for me out of Skirvo, because he is one of my all-time favorite, uh, let me look close up on the face here, one of my all-time favorite enemies from Zelda. So, there you go, Skirvo Dark Horse, deluxe figure. You can get it from GameStop. Uh, occasionally you find her on sale. I know they were on a $50 sale uh, a few days ago, but I'm pretty sure that sale is over with. So I hope you guys have a great day and a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you guys in 2016.